How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! <laughs> of the Dead, released in 2004 and is directed by Edgar Wright, who has also directed such films like Hot Fuzz, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The World's End, Baby Driver, and Last Night in Soho. And this film is starring Simon Pegg, Kate Ashfield, Lucy Davis, Nick Frost, Dylan Moran, Penelope Wilton, and Bill Nighy. And the reason why we're talking about Shaun of the Dead today is because it was a PayPal recommendation and donation from one of my contributors and supporters on this channel. Channel. She's been here a lot. Name the stars. Thank you very much for this recommendation. I believe you also recommended The World's End that I've scheduled to check out at the end of this year because, you know, it's the end of the world and it's the end of the year. I thought it was very fitting. But thank God you recommended this movie because it is one of my favorite comedies. It's one of my favorite horror films and it works perfectly for this month and Halloween. Let's talk about one of the best Halloween horror comedy films ever made, in my opinion. Sean has recently been dumped by his girlfriend because she feels that Sean is dragging her down and he is going nowhere in his life, which is all absolutely true because Sean is directionless and doesn't know how to fix himself. However, with the recent rise of a zombie apocalypse, Sean has to make the decision to choose his mediocre mundane life or become the hero of his and his friends' stories. And that's the brilliant thing about this movie. It is a zombie picture. It is a a horror picture, but really all of that is just set dressing. It's not really about the zombies. Yes, the zombies are there, but it's more about the life of Sean and the mundane existence that he has. And it also makes you question, what is the definition of a zombie? Is it someone that comes up from the grave and they're the living dead and they come after you and they eat your brains? Or is it someone who is just living out their days, not going anywhere with no aspirations, they have a job that they don't like, their house is in disarray, they're constantly holding on to the past and just does what is comfortable and what's familiar with them. And they're also afraid of commitment. When you look at those two different characteristics, the word zombie kind of fits for both of them. And even though the title of this movie is based and is a parody on the George Romero horror film Dawn of the Dead, it really plays into the plot and into the message of this movie. Sean is finally forced to make a decision of is he just going to be a couch potato and sit out the rest of his days and to eventually be become a zombie or is he finally going to take action and make choices with his life and try to better everyone else's life around him. That's why I love this movie so much. It's because it's layered in so many different aspects and storytelling and character development. Not to mention that Simon Pegg is just a comedic genius. How deadpan he plays all of the comedy in this movie. He's not Pratt Folly. He's very matter of fact. Everything that he says in here he is taking super serious. And I think that's what makes the comedy of this situation that much better. It's a serious take, but it also has a little bit of flair and a little bit of fun with it. Plus, he's also playing off of the physical comedy side of things with Nick Frost. He is the Costello in the Abbott and Costello duo that we have here. He's the one that gets all the memorable one-liners and uses a bunch of different levels in his vocal speech that makes whatever he is saying funny. It's a great comedy duo. They play off well with each other, and it works so well for this movie. Not to mention that all of the zombies zombie scenes and zombie chases and zombie ripping people's heads apart and stomachs apart. All of that stuff looks great here. You can see there are stakes. You can see that there is a serious tone with all of these comedy bits, but they're also not taking themselves too seriously. We could have a zombie attack with Queen playing on in the background with them beating his head in at the beat of the Queen song in the pub. You can have Sean's group run into his best friend's group, and you can see that both groups have the same type of tropes and stereotypes and characters tropes that you need in a movie like this. You need to have the mom, you need to have the boyfriend or girlfriend, you need to have the best friend, you need to have the best friend's boyfriend. Which apparently, I never knew this, that was Martin Freeman in The Other Side. He just has a short little cameo. He says nothing, but it was just like, whoa! 
That's Bilbo Baggins! Holy shit! I totally forgot you were in this. Makes sense though, he's in the rest of the Cornetto trilogy. Shaun of the Dead is one of the best films that were released during this decade of the early 2000s. Its use of comedy mixed in with this super serious horror aspect is superb, and the way that it uses zombies to explain someone's mundane life and how they just go about existing, how that could be seen as uh, the walking dead as opposed to the actual physical idea of what that concept is. And Edgar Wright's style is all over this thing. There is recall after recall, symmetry after symmetry. He's a very symmetrical director, and I love directors that do that. The best scenes of this movie are the panning shots where we're following Sean going from his house to the grocery store, just the little side corner store, and he does the exact same actions. He stumbles over the exact same spot on the sidewalk. He gets the exact same or kind of the same meal and coke from the fridge, and basically has has the same type of interaction with the store clerk. And then later on, he does the exact same thing when the Walking Dead is all around him. But again, because he is so just trapped in his mundane zombie life of an existence, he doesn't even notice. And that's the main message of this movie is that if you aren't paying attention, if you aren't looking at your life and looking at where you want to be, life could easily pass you by and you could miss everything around you when you probably should be paying attention. Shaun of the Dead is a master piece. I think to this day it is still Edgar Wright's best film that he's ever directed. This movie put him on the map and I just wish we had more films like this in the world. I think the world would be a much better place if we did. I'm gonna give Shaun of the Dead five out of five Blu-rays. I think I see blue. He looks glorious. So guys, if you've seen Shaun of the Dead, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across because of this video, then comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. See you all the next time I'm releasing mixed movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.